I'm Bozzy Griffin, and this is a quick post of the Sexual Futurist. A couple of weeks ago, I was uh, hanging out down at the uh, shopping center, or minding my own business as the case may be, and uh, Jehovah's Witness, uh, or a J-Dub, if you're cool with that term, gave me an issue of Watchtower. This is the November 1st, 2011 issue. Uh, what's the Bible's view of sex? Yes, they actually released an article on this, and while there's nothing here uh, that you probably couldn't fathom out of uh, your average right-wing Christian literature, there is something that caught my eye. Does God approve of homosexuality? Well, they cite uh, Romans chapter 1, verses 26 and 27, Galatians chapter 5, uh, verses 19 through 21, of course. They then cite uh, John 3.16, Almost everyone knows that, uh, that people who have faith will not be destroyed, yet will have everlasting life. It then says something uh, that I was really surprised by. I mean, it now, whether this comes across as condescending, like, I'll pray for you, which really means I'm better than you. I really don't know. However, I'll let you make up your own mind after I read it. Not before, that was prejudice. Even though they do not condone homosexual relations, true Christians show kindness to all people. Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse 12. God wants us to honor men of all sorts, and in quotation marks. Therefore, genuine Christians are not homophobic. First letter of Peter, chapter... 2 verse 17. Citing Bible verses to say you shouldn't be homophobic. To me, from my own personal perspective, that doesn't actually sound quite as cond condescending when it's giving Bible verses, which means it's giving instruction to uh, true believers. I gotta tell you, it's a step in the right direction from the Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, they're not going to take part in any pride marches uh, at any point. However, isn't an absence of uh, homophobia really, really a step in the right direction? I'd like to think so. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and as I said, you decide.